of China, The Return of Religion After Mao, the newest book by Ian Johnson, was released last week. A subsequent discussion hosted by the Asia Society on April 13th invited Mr. Johnson to share with the audience on his view of Chinese religion today. I view religion in this sense broadly and not just um, specific organized religions that people have joined in a formal way like people might join a church and go every Sunday. But it's the revival of the um, ideas and the um, hopes and, yeah, the ethics, as you put it, um, that underpin a better society and that are spiritually based. And I think that's what's really come back in the past decades. Mr. Johnson also discussed the relevance of some existing religions, such as Christianity, Buddhism, and Taoism in Chinese society today. Christianity has had a permanent presence in China for almost 500 years, longer than it has had in North America, I guess. Uh, you may think that there are, there's no history of Christianity in Chengdu, but actually, you look at our most famous schools, our most famous hospitals, they were all founded by missionaries. It's one of the efforts by Taoism to make itself more relevant and understandable in today's society. They always claim that traditional Chinese medicine originated in Taoism and Taoist ideas of harmony and yin and yang and the five elements and things like that. Um, a lot of scholars of Chinese religion sort of doubt that, that it's quite that simple. But you, you, know, you can see at the White Cloud Temple in Beijing, which is the headquarters of the National Taoist Association of China, they set up a clinic where they offer Taoist medicine, which they you know, say is a kind of Chinese medicine. So that is something that uh, Taoism is trying to use to make itself more uh, relevant in society. Buddhism uh, has a been since the early 20th century, there have been outreach efforts into society. It's a better organized religion. Um, they do better uh, missionary work, essentially, inside China to bring people into the faith. So it's a religion that people kind of join more readily. Mr. Johnson believes that the return of religion and the re-emphasis on traditional values will help China become a better society. Well, I think in China, people are looking for values and um, ways to organize society. It isn't always explicitly an organized religion, like joining a church or joining a temple, but people are maybe inspired by some of these ideas and values about how to live a better life. And I think that's something that's really coming to the fore, the sort of a national discussion in China about how to create a better society. And I think that that's why religion is important even today. For more information from Sinovation English China, you can find us online at en.sinovation.net. Reporting for Sinovation Journal, I'm Mia Chen.